Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love reading for mid-December 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you want them, you can check out one of your other signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of December. What is the overall energy? All right, we've got two of them. All right, we have cycles and we have ascending. All right, okay, so it might feel like a cycle has been repeating itself over and over again or that you're just kind of like living the same situation again. Um, but the message here is that whatever the case, know that you are ascending. Through these cycles, things are shifting, okay? And they are serving a higher purpose. So yeah, we'll see what this is about. It could just be within your own self. Um, it could be referring to another person that's attached to you, or it could be within within a connection with another person. So let's see. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, all right, because this reading is general. In personal readings, that is not the case. So yeah, let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Second half of December. What is going on here? I'm also getting that somebody is like rising above, rising above the cycles, kind of like breaking out of them. But let's see. All right, starting off the reading, we have the Five of Cups crossed by the Five of Wands. Okay. All right, not feeling very good. Um, definitely a lot of... Um, sadness, grief, a feeling of loss maybe, um, guilt even for some of you. There's just a lot of conflict here. I feel like um, for some of you it could definitely be that there has been some kind of an argument or just some kind of tension that has been created within this connection. Hmm. We'll see. For your energy, recent past, we have the Page of Cups. Current energy, the Hierophant, near future for you is the Queen of Pentacles for them, the Moon, the Emperor, and the Wheel of Fortune, and the potential outcome here we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. Let's see, Capricorn. Um, I feel like you, you were open to this in the recent past. You were open emotionally to a particular connection here, but this person may have been a little bit like um, elusive, not very clear. They may have been holding on to some fears, but I feel like there's something here that they were hiding. They may have been holding back their emotions. I, I feel like there was just something you could not really um, figure out about them. It's interesting though, because currently it does feel like there is some kind of a Well, this person seems to be trying to now take charge and now take initiative. I'm not sure about you, though, with that higher friend. I'm going to wait and clarify. Definitely, though, you're moving um, towards standing in your own power. Really being grounded, really um, nurturing your own self. And I feel like this is also you demanding your own respect and just really feeling good about your own self, even feeling... Um, independent from this. There's definitely a shift coming up for them with having the Wheel of Fortune and then we do have the Eight of Swords here so there might be some some confusion or somebody feeling trapped. I don't feel like it is you. Let's see though. Let's, let's clarify because this is um, looking kind of interesting to me. I feel like you're definitely learning something here with that hierophant. I feel like this is also talking about um, possibly even discipline for your own self. Like what I was saying before, like rising above a cycle. A cycle um, that's been repeating itself. But let's see. Let's clarify this Five of Cups with the Five of Wands. Cups, the Ace of Cups, 
the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. This is definitely a connection where things feel like, you know, like there is this potential, right, for love. And I do feel like there are emotions here. I feel like there is something very pleasurable about it. This is um, somebody's wish fulfillment here, for sure. But either somebody is holding on to something from the past, and it could even be like a previous, um, a previous type of a betrayal or a previous um, deception of some sort that somebody has just not fully recovered from. Because I'm getting with this Nine of Wands, this is like a wounded type of an energy, and with that, there is some resistance. And it even feels like whoever that is, they, it's like they're acting from that fear of, of a betrayal happening again. And this is creating tension and conflict. Not sure who that is though. But let's see, let's see that page of cups for your recent past. And we have temperance. Okay, I see. So yeah, you you were you were open emotionally, but I feel like you were trying to like keep it in moderation, like not giving too much. But I mostly feel like that's because this person was in this moon energy, which um, is also representing Pisces. By the way, we also have Aries showing up here, but of course you could be dealing with any sign. We also just had um, Sagittarius show up as well as um, Taurus. So yeah, let's see the moon for them. All right, and they have the Hanged Man, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely they were, they were holding back. They were holding back a lot. I feel like this person was keeping some kind of a distance from you, um, not only emotionally, but also, but also in, in a practical way. Like, I feel like things just didn't seem to be moving or you just, it almost feels like you wanted to just like shake this person <laughs> to like get some information out of them or to just understand something or to get them to like wake up and and they just wouldn't budge. Like, like nope, like you just, they, they were just keeping their distance. Both emotionally as well as practically. I feel like even their behavior in the 3D was a little bit off. And that possibly made you um, just, you know, kind of, you were trying to keep your, your emotions in check. I feel like you were trying to keep the peace also, but you know, you can only do that for so long. And so right now things are just kind of blowing up. All right, let's see that higher thing in your current energy. Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Yeah, okay, I see. You're 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 rising above. That's what you're doing here. You're just trying to face this challenge head on. Um, trying to keep some kind of peace here with this person. I feel like you're trying not to let things escalate too much. Almost like you're you're trying to take the higher road. Is that the extra the higher? Yeah, the higher road. Like you don't, you just don't want to fully participate in, in drama with this person. So you're trying to hold on to your own sense of stability. I feel like you're, you've been doing a really good job of that. Like that's showing up in the recent past. It's showing up in your current energy and it's also showing up in your um, near future energy as well. You're just like, no, I'm not gonna like fall into this vicious cycle of this happening again and again and again, or of continuing it, or enabling it. 
And I feel like you're doing this like in a way where it's like you're not being um, defensive and you're not being offensive either. Like you're just kind of <laughs> holding this perfect balance of, you know what, I'm standing in my power. I'm not going to allow my sense of integrity to drop or I'm just not going to participate in anything that is less than my energy. And that's what you're doing. So you're not attacking them. You're not defending yourself. You're just, you just have that perfect balance, plain and simple. All right, so let's see the Emperor for their current energy. The Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Ooh. This person is trying to... Um, I feel like they're, they feel like they're losing control because you're like so cool <laughs> or at least, you know, you're, they're, they're sensing this coolness about you and you're just not giving in to their kind of an energy. You're not participating. And so I feel like they're in this state of just really trying to get their power back because they feel like they're losing power to you because they've been acting in this weird way, whereas you're just kind of keeping your calm and just not not really allowing it to affect you or if it is it's not really showing but I don't see it affecting you and this is just making you all that more desirable all that more desirable and this person is like I feel like they're feeling immature um, next to you number one and number two they're very interested in what is going on with you I feel like they might be like um, it, it's almost like it's coming in as like a nosy kind of an energy Like now wondering what you might what you might be up to or what is really going on in your head. Definitely don't they don't want to let you go here. Alright, so let's see what is coming up. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles for you. Because I definitely don't don't see that you I don't see you being in that eight of swords um, for the potential outcome. Yeah, you have the fool. Um, this is this is like you saying bye. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, it's it's not funny, but I see you just really um, doing your own thing, basically, wanting to start on your own path and just being. I, this is just your energy. You just being carefree, free of this. Like it's just not affecting you. And you're just like, you know what? Like, I feel good about myself. I know what I deserve. So you know what? I'm just walking in the unknown. I don't know what's coming to me, but that's okay. I trust in that. Almost like you're approaching this like unaffected, like it's just not going to phase you anymore. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune for them. Because there's some kind of a shift here. Let's see what that's about. Either that or a cycle. Um, and yeah, I just realized having the cycles card, that's like the moon, right? Which was in their recent past here, which was their like elusive behavior or just acting shady, hiding things, or even repeating a cycle, a pattern over and over again. And it could even be something similar here, even with the Wheel of Fortune. So we have the Six of Cups and Strength. Okay, so Leo energy showing up. Okay, yeah, this person, that I see, this Wheel of Fortune is they're trying to reel you back in. And I feel like they're going to try pretty hard here with strength being here. Um, yeah, it could be that they're putting an effort to make a shift as well. That definitely could be the case. But I'm seeing it more of really using that strength to like pull you back and to have a reconciliation with you. I don't see you really going for it. You could. I mean, maybe you will, or maybe you will later on. Um, this is just the feel that I'm getting. All right, with that King of Pentacles and the, and the Fool. But I don't know. Let's see this Eight of Swords for the potential outcome here. Ooh.
the lovers and the ten of pentacles yeah okay you know what this person's really not letting you go you you can reject this person they they're still going to be there trying to reel you back in this is definitely not you this eight of swords energy no this is them feeling trapped in this connection with you because they just cannot let go of this wanting that commitment wanting that that connection back with you so yeah it's really going to be up to you it's going to be your call i see you just rising above this for now at least rising above the cycles probably because you feel like they're going to go back to that cycle but yeah so let's see if this resonated with you capricorn let's see the final message and we have choose love you always have choice. Make yours with love. So yeah, your choice is going to come from a place of love from within. And you know why? Because you have love for yourself. And that's number one. That's that's the most important thing. I feel like this person is choosing love as well, but by trying to get you back because they realize that, that, that you know, they have that from you. Um, but the message here is also for you to make sure that you choose love as well. So those were your messages, Capricorn. I thank you so much for watching and much love.